yesterday was a really, really shit day. Like, you know when you have one of those days where everything goes to shit and it doesn't go so well? I'm not going to tell you why my day, my day was a bad day, but it was a bad day. Like, my alarm didn't go off, so I was late getting up. Um, I went for a walk, didn't enjoy it because it got too hot. I came back, I was burning. Uh, I got, I've eaten, I've had nothing but fish. No, not fish. Chip, I've had nothing but chips for the past few days for the meal. To the point I'm sick and tired of chips. Like if I were gonna go home today and have a fish and chips with my mum and dad, I wouldn't eat I would not eat them. Do you understand? I've had nothing but chips every single day for the past two weeks since I've been back here. My my freezer is half empty because I've eaten everything that's in the freezer except for the top and bottom of the freezer. There's no food in my fridge at all. Anyway, besides the point, here's why I'm really pissed off. So I took my loose change, right? And you know, like me, right? I don't spend my loose change like everyone else does. And these people have got millions. When they've got loose change, they've got like lots and lots and lots of loose change lying around that they don't even know about, that they're unaware of. Now, most people, what would they, they do? Would They would take their loose change and put it back. Don't do that. Go to the coin starter machine in town, and there's three of them. There's one in Publix, Publix, I'm thinking about American ones. No, sorry, there's one in the Asda, there's one in Tesco's, but that fucking mal malfunction, they don't work as good. And there's one in Sainsbury's, right at the back of the aisle, there's the machine. Coin starter is the best thing and the worst thing at the same time. Here's why coin starter is good. It takes any loose change you have and it makes it into paper money. But there's a downside to it. It takes a, a pound 22 um, not to use. It doesn't take it off to use, but it takes off and a little bit of money goes to them. So I'm thinking, so I could, I should have made seven pound 22 P, but I made six pound 22 because it took off 122 and I'm like you greedy sacks of shit so not only I'm then getting the loose change that think about it when you put all those when you put all that loose coinage in the machine and you get that receipt to get the money back where does it go it goes in the machine that is the quickest way to make some money oh you don't like your loose change put it in this machine we'll tell we'll add it up for you cheat you out two pound like because they're scumbags and give you what we think you should get. They don't give you the whole fact. They don't give you the whole thing. So say you save up ten pounds in coins, right? And you can't be asked carrying that that those pounds in your pocket because you don't you don't want to. You most people like us can't be asked to take out a few pounds and go here. Here's your here's your change because it's too much hassle. Me when I get some loose change, I don't throw it away. I keep it. I add it up, and I take it to coin star. Before I didn't know they took off two pounds um, when you got when they added up because I thought to myself, well, there's there's something wrong they adding because you know when you put it in the tray and you got the that sound and it counts the money, the machine doesn't count the money right. It takes off two pound. So if you put in ten pound, you only put in eight pound because it takes off two pound every time it does it. And I thought, like, well, it's not a big deal. They're only taking off two pound. But that two pound is going to be really helpful by the end of the day. So instead of me getting seven pound twenty two, which I should have done, and I saved up, I added, I took my loose change and I added it up myself, and I realized, oh, seven twenty two. That's not really ten pounds. That's basically seven pounds twenty two. That's not a lot, but a little bit, but a little bit helps. So let me show. She gave me five. I found pound note and one pound coin, and she gave me a fifty pence piece, and she goes, here you go. And I said, no, it's 722, which is wrong. It's 622 because we take off two pound. I was like, huh, didn't know that. Well, that's a, that's a cheek though. That's the only downside to the coin starter machines. And I never noticed that until now. I just thought maybe the machines counted it wrong. Maybe I had less than I thought I did, but I, 
That's the only downside to the Coinstar machine. The Coinstar machine is the best invention ever. Because not only is it not only is it easy money, it's just a few walks into town, you put your money in, you go to the the cashier and they give you the money. And they're not losing money because they're making money because it's supply and demand, isn't it? They're making money because you're going down into this grocery store and you're buying things and they're giving you the change back. So that's a win. You don't thing is you don't have to go into the store to spend money to get money back. It's just you put the money into the machine, the machine counts it up, it takes off two pound. That's the only downfall I, I don't like about the machine. It takes two pound or a little bit more off and you get the change back. And the only time I don't like going to coin start machines is when I've got five pound in my in, in pound coins in my pocket. Because then the woman goes, <laughs> that it. Like the one time I got I needed the money, right? The machine I put in five pound, but it took off two pounds, it gave me three pounds. And she says, Ha, is that it? Like what what is your deal? You work down there. All you have to do is scratch the back of a coin, rip the co the ticket a little bit, and give me the money. Why do you go to be a, an? Why is it when you go to a cashier they give you a bit of an attitude? They're not losing money that much money because they make so much. Well, coin star is just one of the biggest ups and downs of the square. Yeah, you get a lot of money, but you lose two pounds, and that's the two pounds you need. That there's no point. Of taking five pounds and turning it into a five pound note, there's no point because you're not making a lot of money. It's best to go if you've got ten pounds in uh, pound coins or more than that. Or if you take a big ass jar, and remember, I took a big ass jar, I saved up to two weeks. I was a little disappointed, but I made 14 pounds easily. I was a bit, I should have made 16, but I made, I made 14, I saved up for two weeks. I found all this money down couches, behind cushions, underneath um, parts of the room. I didn't even know that I had it in, in my shoes, in my coat pockets. I found money in my left, right, and center. And I put that in a jar, and I took the jar down to uh, Sainsbury's once, and I put the whole jar in. The, the money counter, and I was literally thinking, oh, this is 18 pounds easily. 14. It robbed me of two pounds. It should have been 16, but it came to 14. The highest I've ever had in that coin star machine, close to a 20. I've had 18 pounds. Good deal for a good day. That's why whenever I go into town, I take all the loose change I get back from, say I bought something, and it's cost me a lot. I don't always get the right amount. But okay, say I spend 30 and I get 10 back. I'm still short 20 pounds, but by the end of the day, I still have money to, you know, and I still have something better than nothing. I know it's not much, but still. Oh, I love the corn starter machine. But it's a lo it's a winning losing battle at this point. Sometimes you get enough, and sometimes you don't get the right amount. Like if I got three or four pounds, I'm not gonna waste my time going back there again. Cause then you go, <laughs> that's it. And then they mock you and go, oh, big spender, don't spend it all in one day. And it's like, why do you do that? Why do you do that? Why do you mock us? Why do you look at us like we're fucking stupid? I've never liked cashiers. Never liked them. I mean, I like them when I'm buying my food. And they can be very polite, but there's just those one or two cashiers that love rubbing it into your face when you make a bit of money. It's like, ooh, they get a pleasure off it as well. Like, ooh, don't spend that all in one day, big spender. You're a cashier. This ain't Vegas. I'm not taking a hundred pounds, I'm taking a measly 10 to 20 pounds out of your cash, out of your, the, the till thing. And I'm not robbing you. It's in the, it's in the, the machine itself.
it says you before you use the machine put the money in at your own risk it gives you all that information so I'm not robbing you I'm taking a small fraction like you do with me and I'm putting it in my pocket and most of them that do it don't even know how to do it and I'm like you just scratch the back of it rip the back off and you just give me the money why do you have to call for an assistant to help you out of that small little situation? And I know it's one of the when they've done it before in Sainsbury, right? They always go to that one person and go, Oh, I can't work the tail. And she'll go, oh, No, I'm not one of those. Like, what, why? Why would you do that? And one of them made me wait to the point, Oh, I can't figure out how to open the crash register. You can't figure out how to open the cash register, but I've clearly seen you do it. So you can't fucking open the cash register and take out the correct amount of change. Is that what you're trying to tell me? I know you ain't that stupid. If I was working down there and the guy gave me the coin star receipt, I wouldn't fucking go, can you just wait in the corner for a few minutes? I don't know how to open the cash register. Like, I, I just saw you take out the money. I just saw you take it out. So not only do you make me wait, you make me wait a little, little bit longer. And I, the good thing for you, I've got patience. Because in reality, in the back of my mind, you've already pissed me off. I'm not in the mood for your shenanigans, and I don't like your bullshit. There's a reason why I prefer the machines over cashiers, because when they've had a bad day, they take it out on us. And we're paying them. We are paying them. We are going into their store, with our money and we are paying them and all we ask is that the cashier be a, bit, a little bit polite now some are and some are but when they are that's when you should be that's when the boss should be saying listen our guarantee is we work with a smile even if we have to fake it even if you have to fake it most of them fake it with me and I don't care but if you're going to be a piece of shit to me I think to myself I can't come back here anymore because it's just you people are just rude that's the reason why I go to Asda to do shopping at Asda. I go with the machines. Yeah, the machines always repeat everything every once in a while. They break down every once in a while. But they're a lot easier. You put your money in, they give the correct change back, you go. Well, cashiers, they, 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 you pay them the correct money, but they do this little thing that they have a go at you for no reason. Someone will ask you, oh, how was your day? Um, we'll just see you back in Asda. Please come again. Someone go, what are you buying this for? Who's this for? You know what I mean? They get a little bit too nosy. I try them personally don't like the coin star machine and I don't like cashiers. I don't. Like you've got this small uh, line of people waiting to just get their and most of them don't even go there just to get the coin star receipts. Most of them go there for cigarettes. And I'm thinking to myself, so you're gonna go into the line and pay for a small amount of food in a small line, when it all they sell is some candies and some cigarettes anyway. Don't waste my time. If you're going to shop in Sisbury's, do some actual proper shopping, and then if there's time, go to cigarettes. This is, I was behind this one late old lady, and let me tell you, she turned around and got my nose. She said, well, what are you in the line for? You're not buying cigarettes, are you? She says, I don't smoke. I'm buying it. I'm... You know, turning it in my um, coin star receipt. Uh, one of those, yeah. Good luck. And then she acted like she didn't say anything. No, in the back of my mind, I was like, oh, you bitch. But I thought, nah, I just want to get my money and go. So to me, the coin star is a hit and miss. I love the coin star machines. I do. When I need that little bit more money, it works. It's better than going into a bank and changing it for pound notes. It's a pain in the ass. I don't want to sign all those papers with the hassle. I just want to get my money and go. But sometimes the coin star has its ups and it has its downs. So I love it's a love hate relationship with the coin star. I love it, but there's times I just can't stand it. 